Somebody's diaper was in somebody else's crib. And the diaper was barely even wet, so I don't even know when she took off her diaper. But Kira took it off and peed all over her bed. I know, she's asking for her bottle. I have your milk ready. Anyway, good morning, guys. Hi. Ohio. Ohio goes on. Back in the kitchen, you have to excuse that crying. That's a normal thing around here. I'm gonna cook my omelet though, the way they did it at the restaurant. I like trying different ways. Turkey, I've got mushrooms, green onions, and I'm gonna put some cheese in that too. And these eggs are beautiful. Oh my gosh, Mia turned on the music. I'm not even kidding you. What do you want? This. Oh, okay, say apple. Apple. <laughs> what do you say? And what do you say? <laughs> so the omelet turned out pretty good. Uh, all those goodies are in there. I don't know if I explained. The way they did it at the restaurant is they put a lot of the ingredients before. I like to dry cook or dry sear my mushrooms first so that I can get the flavors going. And then I'll be adding my turkey onions into the pan with some butter and then I pour the egg in. This omelet is bomb diggity. <laughs> the flavors, bursting with flavors. Yeah. You got the apple feels? What is that? They must be really delicious because yeah. those feels, wow. I just de-seeded all these cherries. Are you excited? <laughs> I love this cherry de-seer. It's totally not only changing uh, how quickly I can give uh, the cherries to the girls, but it actually changes how you taste the cherries. I don't know how to explain it, but like when you're fumbling around with the cherry seed and spitting it out, um, it takes a little bit away from the experience of eating it. So now I actually prefer it uh, de-seeded for myself as well. Daddy wants something. <laughs> That's a lot of cherries. You're gonna have diarrhea. Uh, no, there's something in the bowl cherry. No, I took it out for you. Cherries, that's a lot. No more. All done. Why don't you just enjoy it? Cherry on the loose. Oh, you're so sweet. She just gave one to Mia. That's it. No more. Thank you, Juliana, for being so generous. She saw that the girls were asking for more, and you know, I don't want to give them any more because that's lots and lots of cherries. And she said, I'll give you one. So, you know, if her big sister's going to offer, I'm not going to say no. All done. All done? Oh, you faked me. She put her chips aside to act like her bowl was empty. Are those good? Juliana, come on.
something. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Careful! Sit down! Oh my goodness. Sit down. <laughs> Look at that effort just to get on the couch. You like your mommy to Oh, what oh. just fell off? Your eyelash? Was no. that your eyelash? It's oh. like Ariel's shoe. Oh. I know you're tired. It's pretty hot, but it's nice finding these shady spots. But it's amazing how much cooler. Okay, here. All right. Uh, it's amazing how much cooler it is in the shade. I mean, obviously it's gonna be cooler, but it's like, it's gotta be 10, 15 degrees cooler. Thank you for being so chill. You look like you can use a nap. I bought these things at Costco. Um, I've seen like a few YouTubers that tried this out and apparently it smells amazing. Hmm, it smells good. I mean, my detergent smells good. I don't know if it was just the waste getting it, but... <laughs> it's like you're her Prince Charming. <laughs> girls day. Hey, what are you doing? The girls just went down for a nap, so it's all perfect timing. Where's my bag? We really Mommy. gotta get going though, because we still have to pick up Mama. We're waiting for Mama. But we are supposed to get it done during our spa weekend at the Salish Lodge, but I just never got around to it. My nails are so bad. Um, I think I pretty much ruined my nails one time. Back in high school, I went to get acrylics, and ever since that one time, my nails have never been the same. Like, they grow, like, they're really jagged. Oh, they're gross. So I usually, when I get my nails done, I usually get like a shellac or a gel. I'm never getting acrylics ever again. Mama is in the- <gasps> There she is! Hi, Mama! Actually, I think I want more of a pink color. Oh, no thank you. What color did you get, Mom? Oh, it's kind of the same. Juliana's being so patient. <laughs> Uh, that is so cute. I think this is the family-run business, so the kids are healthy now. We're pretty busy here, even though I have to take my kids. We're still waiting at least, I think, like 20 or 30 minutes. Ooh, Mom's getting luxury treatment. She's getting, actually, it's called the Elegant Signature Pedicure. Uh-oh. Let's grab Got some work done. It's time to go get the girls. Oh, hi there, Mommy. beautiful girl. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, what happened? Your dress is about to fall off. Uh oh. What happened to all of your stuffed animals? Tara uh -oh. has this thing. She likes to put her stuffed animals in her sister's crib. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, I can't you. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? You gonna stay down there? Okay, then I'll go. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh, oh, what? What are you doing? Okay, I'll just go. I'll leave. What? Oh, do you want to get out? Alright, yeah, okay. Come on. Hey! <laughs> okay, you're not faking daddy out anymore. You're so dark. Look how dark this girl is. They got their mommy's jeans. I get dark in the summer too. Uh, actually, I'm probably darker than Judy is right now on my arms. Farmer's hand. I don't know. Wow, look at what I am. Hey, don't touch your slip on. So you could have one, but you can't get the candy. Let's see which ones you could get. You could have one of these over here, or you can have one of these for a sticker. This one. No, not that's candy. Uh, we have plenty of candy at home. Hey! How you doing? Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Is that dress just like way too big for you? Wow! Come on, you want to come too? Oh, you got a friend. Come on, come on. One thing I will say, my arms have got much stronger since I had twins. Because both arms have to carry a baby. Yeah, I like it. Daddy's got biceps. I work out. That is the cutest face ever. Oh wait, never mind. That's also the cutest face ever. What's up with this? How do we fix that? Oh, sorry. Mm, mm, mm. That's good, huh, girls? Look how cute those are. Your nails are so pretty. Thank you. But here are my toes, my summer toes. So I, cute. I broke my summer toes. Oh, let's see your summer toes. Wow, so pretty. So I actually didn't get my nails done, my fingers, because it was so busy and there was people waiting for over half an hour and I felt so bad. So I'm like, oh, I'll just do my fingers myself. Anyway, I just brought home some food. Carne asada burritos, I got quesadillas. Didn't come from the taco truck, I'm skeptical. He's always skeptical. But this is the same thing. I'm really just catching up on laundry again today. I'm not even gonna touch my suitcase because one thing at a time. Can't deal with too many things at once or else I never complete a task. Baby girls are keeping me company. Oh, thanks! You know, actually, good idea. Why don't you guys just unload the luggage, huh? So I got a compliment today at the Mexican restaurant. The lady there was like, she saw me walk in with JB and she goes, how old are you? And I thought it was a weird question to ask. Like, you know, as an adult, it's I think it's weird to receive that question. And I told her I was 29 and she's like, oh, I thought you were too young to have a kid. She said, I look 17. I've never gotten <laughs> that young before after my mid-20s, that's crazy. But yeah, I guess it's a compliment. You know, you could actually recline this. Wow. Is that comfortable or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Seattle, baby. And this guy's taking me to a Sounders game. Uh, he even gave me my first Sounders apparel. So if you guys don't know, the Sounders are the soccer team of Seattle and they play at the same stadium as the Seahawks. So we're gonna go, but we're gonna grow up. Do you wanna say anything to the YouTube world? Uh, hi. These oysters, these are Kumamoto's. This is another Japanese one. I think all of these are from Washington today, so I like that uh, we got french fries. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Right? Oh, it's nothing. No, it's not. No, I have to take it out. Afternoon! Oh. <laughs> Good. Oh! Hey! I'm up there. No, there. You know what? It's too dangerous. During the girls' nap, this there, fell. No, and it was in there. Mia's crib. I don't know if it fell on Mia or if it just startled Mia, but she woke up like really terrified. I think she was playing with this string. Goal! Juliana found one of her giant Easter eggs that had candy in it. How long has it been now? April, May, June, July. So it's been three months. And I'm letting her open up one of her candies and she's sharing it with the girls, which the girls love. We'll give one more to sister, just one more. One more and that's it. Mm-hmm, one more and that's it, girls. We just had a good game. Thank you, Micah. You're very welcome. My first sports uh, event at the CenturyLink. I have been to a motocross event, but that was awesome. And thank you to Alyssa and the other people that greeted me so welcomely. Oh, I normally wouldn't buy it, but since you offered it, uh, I'm, I'm just having a great time here. I'm trying to go through this crowd right now. Everybody's tripping because I'm like in the way vlogging. Anyways, we're about to have a $2 hot dog. I think that's a tradition, right? That was more fun than I would have thought for a, a football game. A football game. 
it's soccer, football, internationally. football internationally to most of the viewers here, but soccer to us Americans. America. <laughs> what makes this a Seattle dog? See that strip of gooey stuff on there? That's called cream cheese. This is the only city that I've seen this in where you put cream cheese on your hot dog. I put some pepperoncinis, so as well as some mustard, grilled onions. I'm gonna say goodbye to, what is this called again? CenturyLink, the clink. I had a fun time. Sounders, good job for scoring one goal. <laughs> Want to end off with comment of the day. So I'm just going to choose the latest comment and it's from oh, Too Light 16 and she writes, wow, that commercial was so touching. It really was. I looked back at the commercial earlier today and again, I was crying. I already knew what to expect and I was still crying. And maybe subconsciously it's so touching because my father was in the Navy and he was gone six months at a time. And it was really hard. It was hard to the point where he would come back home after six months and I would shy around him. So that's one thing that like I kind of, I guess in a way, hated about being a military child. Like I never got that bond with my father, but but you know, at the same time, I'm so grateful for him serving our country and obviously like supporting our family, but Anyway, maybe subconsciously it was just really, really, really touching because, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and happy 4th of July because by the time you're watching this, it is Independence Day and we're going to be celebrating all day tomorrow. So, okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Look, they look like vampires. Dance